The number one question I've gotten about this video, which has nothing to do with the game even. The most asked question I've gotten on this video is... What's up everyone, my name is Gamestash, welcome to the channel. And this story starts back in 2018. I was playing this game called Europa Universalis and I was really enjoying this game. The only problem was that I was playing it by myself. And, and honestly, I just wanted to have someone to play this game with. So I asked a couple of friends, hey, do you want to play EU4 with me? And they said, yeah, sure, sounds fun. So they most of them bought the game, they installed it, but most of them didn't play it longer than a couple of hours. And that mostly had to do with the fact that the game is so darn difficult. And that was the reason that I decided to make a video. And that video is the most watched video on my channel as of today. And it's called Quick and Complete Beginner's Tutorial for Europa Universalis 4. It has right now 370,000 views, which is way more than I would ever anticipate that it would have. But the actual reason that I made that video was just for my friends to be able to start and play the game, which sadly has not happened until today. <laughs> But I'm glad to know that 370,000 people have watched it. So maybe I've helped some people. So the goal of today's video is actually to make kind of a follow-up video on that tutorial. And I mainly want to do that by answering some questions you guys sent me in. So uh, let's go ahead and answer those. Uh, but if you have any more questions that I have not answered in this video, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. As you may have seen, I comment to almost every comment. So just go ahead and leave your questions in the comments below. But let's get started. And the number one question I've gotten about this video is not something that has to do with expanding your army, not something that has to do with conquering provinces, which has nothing to do with the game even. The most asked question I've gotten on this video is, why is the quality so bad? <laughs> or something along the lines of this is not 1080p, which is true, actually. So let me answer that question. Um, this all has to do with what I told you in the introduction of this video. Um, and that is that I, I didn't actually expect people to watch this video. <laughs> so when I was making this, I just thought, okay, let's just uh, take 720p uh, footage and scale it up to 1080p. And the result, of course, is that you have very bad looking footage. For which I want to say I'm very sorry, because if I knew that people would actually watch my video, I would have been more careful. Or or actually, no, a glitch a glitch happened there and the video looks like 480p no matter what. Yeah, guys, it's a glitch. It wasn't me. It wasn't uh, It wasn't that I upscaled the footage. It's just, it's just a glitch, so sorry. I, I can't really do anything about that. But I have to say that this mistake actually really helped me with the current state of my channel because I still don't really get a lot of views, maybe 20, 30 views or so for, on every video. But what I now try to do is that I think of every video as if all those 370,000 people are going to watch my next video. So I really make sure that every video, video that I do, I make it the best that I possibly can, which obviously now only gives me videos that I'm really happy with. But the downside is of course that if you put so much attention into a video that it that it really decreases the number of videos that you can output. But anyway, uh, let's move on to the next question. This next question is from uh, Petra, who says, five. Yeah, I mean, I get that, but I would actually kind of say more like 36 or something along those lines. But um, good question, Petra, thank you. Uh, next question. Uh, Dennis asks, why is your French full? Mine is like gay, it's colorful. But that actually has to do with the fact that they kind of changed France in uh, in one of the recent updates. Um, so France used to be this big blob, in which you can also see in my video. Um, but now France has been subdivided into subjects, which are still subjects of France. So indirectly, you still have the same amount of land, um, but you don't control it directly. So it makes it a bit more difficult. You say too many bad words is not cool. To which I say, Ooh, gonna cry. Go ahead, ahead. quai. Then we have uh, Jim, Jim Kantarek, who says, no section about what this game isn't, one out of 10. And uh, yeah, uh, Jim, I have to fully agree with you. I Sorry, I didn't tell you that this game is not a role-playing game. game. It is not a shooting not game. A game. It is not a turn-based game. Then we have someone else who is also, uh, who is also not so happy with me. He says, came for the information, left within 10 seconds because of the language. 
To which I have to say, wow, Michael, I'm really sorry. I uh, kan de video de volgende keer in Nederlands doen als je dat wilt. Maar ik denk dat de meeste kijkers daar niet zo op staan te wachten. Dus uh, I'm really sorry, man. And what I also kind of like is that the fact that you either have people that are really pissed with my introduction <laughs> or you have people that can really get on board with me. So for example, Leander is uh, totally on board with me. He says he's taking shots with that intro. Lamau, man woke up and chose violence. <laughs> just to be just to be 100% clear that people don't misunderstand this. Um, it is a joke, a joke. I'm not out there to offend people. I'm just making jokes. But yeah, having to say that it is a joke, yeah. And then another serious question. Uh, I'm really sorry if I'm butchering your name. Cut me some slack here. Uh, but uh, Kosti Hunoch says you never talked about trading. Which is true, which is true. I, I, I really thought carefully about what I would put into this uh, tutorial video. And I thought that trading is not really necessary to know in depth when you're just starting out the game because it just, it just happens by itself. So I would just say learn more about other stuff first and then get into trading because trading gets really difficult really quickly. Uh, Henrik Kabak says, quick beginner's guide, 20 minutes. Okay, yes, true. When I was actually writing a script, I thought, okay, let's just make it so, as, as short, as, 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 as clear, as to the point as possible. So when I was done and I, and I had a video that was 20 minutes long, I was honestly also kind of disappointed, but, but I honestly don't think that I could leave any of the content out that I put in there. So maybe I could reduce the length of the video by cutting a bit quicker, but yeah, it's not gonna get shorter than that, I think. Then a question that's also kind of up there in the number of times I've gotten it, uh, which is, is buying DLCs too important? Can't I just play the base game and have fun? I, yeah, I think it, it, it is possible to play the base game, but I honestly wouldn't recommend it because the DLCs that I mentioned in the video are really necessary. Those DLCs contain some features that you will really need in order to play the game. For example, one of the DLCs gives the, gives the possibility to be able to ask a nation to support your independence, which is, which is absolutely necessary if you want to play a country like uh, Holland or Brabant or Sweden or any other country that is not uh, independent at the start of the game. But yeah, I, I have to agree that I would actually expect those options to be in the base game. So I'm actually kind of disappointed that it's not, but that's another discussion for another time maybe. So yeah, watch, uh, get, get DLCs. And then we have this comment from Unitor699 who says, started today, was searching, this was the only normal tutorial. This is also the point that I'm trying to make in the intro of the video. I tried to find a video that has all basic mechanics of EU4 in one video, but it's, it literally is not out there. There is not no such a video. There, is, there are only videos of people talking for 20 minutes, saying stuff like, okay, you can click on a province. And if you click on a province, you can see the base income and the base tax and the base tax. Oh, by the way, the base, oh, by the way, the base tax, that is a number that is increased. And what you think, I don't give a fuck. I don't need to know this shit. Fuck off and tell me something useful. But yeah, that was one of the main reasons that I made this video. So I, 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 I get you, uh, Unitor699. And I don't know, but this comment really speaks to me. It is from <laughs> Theo Midgley, who says, I love how much this guy enunciates his swear words. <laughs> Which kind of reminds me of just a minute ago when I was swearing and what you think, I don't give a fuck. I don't need to know this shit. Fuck off and tell me something useful. Uh, yeah, I actually kind of do. Yeah, I didn't really notice it up until now, so thank you. <laughs> and then we go to something very nice. We go to a comment from Gustavo who says, thank you. I've seen many tutorials and I have never actually managed to understand this game until now. You're awesome. Thank you, Gustavo. That's, that's, that's incredibly nice of you to say. And I've actually gotten a bunch of comments from people thanking me. Um, so why am I showing you this comment? Well, this actually has to do with something that uh, bugged me a while before I started making videos. I honestly really hesitated a while before I decided to make videos and upload them. Because I had this strange idea that uh, people would just hate my videos. People would just comment negatively, just be total assholes. But when I put out my first couple of videos and I got my first couple of comments, I was I was so surprised how, how positive people actually are on this platform. And that was so incredibly surprising to me. And of course, I've gotten a whole bunch of negative comments as well. So uh, it's not like I'm only getting positive ones, but, but I have to say that for every negative comment, I get at least three positive ones. 
And it's not the other way around as I initially thought. So thank you. Thank you guys for being so awesome and being so nice. And let me end this video with a leap back in time. Back to when the video was not out that long. Back to three years ago. To a comment from Sin and Seth who says, You deserve more than 200 views. Which in itself is a very nice comment. To which I respond that thank you, that's really kind of you to say. And now I have more than 200 views. So with that said, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much if you've watched the quick and complete EU4 tutorial video. If you have not and you would like to check out that video, please be sure to click over here in the corner and watch that video now. And I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Because it really is my dream to become a full-time YouTuber. And if the 300,000 people that watched my video would have done that, I would be there right now, I think. <laughs> so I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.